Hello, Tab Nation. I am Tom, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to automate stock changing or cryptocurrency uh, exchange, you know, kind of whatever you're interested in doing. I'm going to be using Robinhood today, uh, but you can manipulate this pretty much to work on any website. You're just going to have to kind of change up the script a little bit and play around with it. But the, the things you're going to have to change are not too complicated. Let's take a look here. So I know there's got, there's better ways to do this, but for some reason it was giving me a bunch of issues and I ended up having to do this really weird thing here. It was like the only accurate way I could get it to truly work every time, but that's fine. So what I'm doing here is I'm using control one, mouse get position, store these variables to mouse position B, mouse position get um, uh, S. And you'll see why I need these three things and uh, I'll kind of explain a little better why I had to do it this really funky way. But whatever. Um, so basically let's go ahead and actually take a look at Robin Hood. So on this one I'm using, I believe it was ETN ETH, yeah, Ethereum. So this is what I was basically looking at trading uh, with this script. Let me resize this a little better. There we go. So basically what I want to do, I'm going to show you, uh, kind of explain it with my mouse here and then explain the code so it's a little bit better to understand, I think is uh, the good way to go here. Um, basically what it's going to do is every what was it <clears throat> so originally i had to do it every 15 minutes but in this um i'm gonna do every 15 seconds just so we're not sitting here waiting so every 15 seconds it's going to read this number here it's going to check how much money i have so right now i have ten dollars and 33 cents which sucks but hey most of my money is in uh, bitcoin so it's going to check that number. And then we're going to get some input boxes where it's going to ask me at what price do I want to sell and at what price do I want to buy? If that number is over my sell, it's going to click up here at sell. It's then going to tab down twice enter whatever amount I choose to sell. Let's say I, I'm doing $1. Uh, increments it's then going to tab down again twice press enter to review order and then it's going to tab which takes you to edit and then it's going to shift tab to take you back up to submit cell and then push enter to submit your cell and then it's going to refresh the page so obviously I'm not going to sell right now or buy um, buy does the exact same thing the only difference is Instead of clicking here, it's clicking there. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at that code. I'm trying to think if I should run it. I think I should run it for you guys first. This is a little out weird to do, um, so I'm kind of switching it up. Where is that script? All right, so here's where that uh, control one, control two, and control three come out. Uh, one, control one is P, B, and S. Buy, sell. Oh, no, okay, position is the price. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go right here over top of this text and push control one. It grabs those coordinates. Now, I, I tried doing some like web scrapping here, but it just like, super inaccurate because like there's like news feeds that pop up on here so like stuff was constantly changing and there's different amounts of money everywhere so it was really hard to grab this specific like text here so i'm just pushing control one and it's going to move my mouse here and uh it's going to triple or double click to highlight that and then push control c and that's how i'm grabbing the price i know it's a weird way but it was the best i could do now we're going to push buy, so control 2, and then control 3 over sell. 
So let's grab the coordinates of there, the buy, and the sell button. That's all that did. So now we're going to do F1. And that's going to say, at what price do you want to sell at? So let's say I want to sell at, well, let's go ahead and make it sell. So $10.25. So obviously I'm over there. That means I'm going to want to sell. At what price do you want to buy? Uh, whenever it hits $8, it's fine. And then how much do you want to buy or sell? A uh, dollar at a time. Or ooh, $1 at a time. So we're going to buy sell at a dollar. Obviously, you can uh, add an extra input box if you want to have a difference on how much you buy versus how much you sell. So you can just duplicate that. That's uh, pretty easy to do. So it's actually um, should be running. Yep. So there it goes. It just went to sell, review order, and then it's on the submit. And normally it would have pushed enter there, but I just have it to refresh. So we did it pretty quick um, there. So let's actually look at the code now. Oh, I should probably actually like kill the code, which is F3. All right, let's undo anything I just did there. All right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so here's those input, input boxes where I did the sell amount stored as this variable, the buy amount, and the sell buy amount. Um, I'm setting the set title match mode to two, and that's because down here I'm just looking for that window to contain uh, the word ETH in it to make sure I'm on the right tab, because if not, then I don't want it randomly clicking a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so it's going to sleep for one second. It's going to mouse click at um, with the left click two times, and that's at those coordinates I got with control one. So it's clicking on that price, and then it's copying it to the clipboard. Now, should I sell? If clipboard is greater than sell amount, that means, hey, let's sell. It's then going to mouse click at that position I got from control 2, which is the sell key, or the sell button. It's going to tab down twice. It's going to type in my sell amount that I put in that input box 3. Sleep 2 seconds. Um, I had to put this here because sometimes there was a little bit of a lag with entering the price amount uh, just because I think it's also at the same time doing a quick check to make sure you have that amount of money. I'm not really sure, um, but I had to put that sleep two seconds in there because it, it would just jump down here way too fast. Um, send tab twice. It's moving down to the review order. So I'm going to enter tab to get to the edit. Shift tab to go back up to the confirm. Tab shift up. Basically, we're moving around that uh, little interface there. Uh, and then here I have commented out, send enter. That's when it would actually confirm the cell and do it. So I obviously have that con uh, commented out right now for this video. So just make sure you uncomment that. I'll leave it uncommented in the description. Uh, and then we're just, we're, I want to count how many times I've sold and versus how many times I've bought. Um, so I just have a counter here. That's all that is. It's, it's a variable saying add uh, one, two, three every time this hits. And then we're going to do send shift control R, which refreshes in Chrome. And then we're done. And then we wait again for that next timer to go off. Uh, 15 seconds, you should probably make it more like 15 minutes or, you know, it's a little longer than that, depending on what you want. So if this never equaled true, it you know, clipboard never equaled uh, or was greater than the sell amount, or less, I guess, um, it's then going to jump down here to should I buy. So now it's going to see, well, we didn't sell, how about we buy? It's doing the same thing up there, just uh, reverse that. Um, also, in the description below, I am going to have to put a link to Pastebin because you cannot put these little uh, carrot symbols into YouTube. So just click on that link, it's perfectly safe. And I'll ha it'll be, you know, basically like this. This is doing the exact same thing. The only real difference here is it's clicking on the position that I got from the coordinates of control 3 instead of 2. 
doing all the same amount of movements and everything. But down here we got count buy versus count sell. And then for F2, you really don't have to use this if you don't want to, but this is just a message box that pops up stating like um, how many times you sold, uh, how many times you bought, times the sell amount. So it's basically calculating how much profit you made. So if you if you don't want this, you can just check the number on your page and or look at your like transaction history. It's probably honestly a better way to do it. Um, but you can leave this in or take it out. And just because when I want to be done, I want an easy way to exit, just F3, exit at. All right. If you guys have any questions about any of the code I went over in here, definitely let me know. This works on Robinhood right now. Uh, also, if you're going to be changing it to any type of other thing, you can uh, just need to make sure your win active is different than ETH. You know, if you're selling Bitcoin, it's BTC. Or if you're selling a stock, you know, whatever their stock ticker is. Uh, you can also duplicate all this code multiple times if you want to have it jump between tabs. I did a Chrome video on how to cycle through tabs. I'll put that in the link below. That way, if you want to do multiple stocks, like checks, all at once, you can do that versus mine where it's only checking uh, the ETA or ETH. So you can definitely duplicate the code to do multiple stocks at once instead. All right, guys. Uh, definitely hit that like button if this helps you out. I know I see this asked a lot on how to automate like stock exchanges and stuff. So I wanted to kind of throw a video out there. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.